Okay, so how do you get going with this thing? Okay, what do you need to learn first, or what do you, how do you how do you start? Okay, the first thing you want to remember is this ain't building the space shuttle. All uh, right, this is this is blowing a bird whistle. That's what this is. Don't make too much out of it. Don't think too much of it. They don't think about it. It's more of a do thing than a think about thing. Okay. How you hold it and how much air you put or put pressure you put on it. Those things have to be coordinated to make the sound come out right, to make the call, the operating characteristic right. Okay, you call two things, operating characteristics and tone. Your hand position, be, this is a good, is it gonna work for you? Probably, but maybe not because everybody's so much different. But to, a good place to start is with that one hand grip. That death grip, you practice in your truck like that. Anybody gonna complain about you practicing in your truck? They all out you about doing that at the house, but not in your truck. Okay, so use that one hand, one hand on the steering wheel, one hand on your car. You're gonna be surprised how good you can make it sound. All right, the grip is this. Okay, that little dip, that dip in the insert is for your thumb. Okay. Pull your trigger finger down over the end of the insert so that it's covering about half of the insert. So the insert be on your finger like this. Okay. In other words, you're just nozzling down the end of it just a little tiny, tiny bit. It's all the back pressure it takes as the back pressure is built in. Okay. And then you, these fingers, these three fingers, they just form an extension of this insert. Okay, that's what they're for. You want to, when you look down in there, you want to be able to see into the call. You don't want to be blown into the palm of your hand or out or any of that. You want to go straight down the center of everything. Let's take a look at the grip. Look where that, see where the trigger finger is, how it's touching right here? That's how you hold it. These fingers do not touch, they're up. Okay? As if you were to put your finger in the end of the call grip it and then pull it out without moving these that's just about what's going to happen right there okay when you get it that close then you just start blowing okay this is a your success is based on how willing you are to fail here you got to fail a bunch of times the more you fail the more you blow it and the more you fail the faster you're going to pick up on how it works all right so you put the put that grip on there put that big death grip on there and just start blowing Listen for that. You want to listen for how it's breaking. <laughs> leave your hand still. Okay? It's, you don't need to be doing this. Just leave it still. There's a range of hand position where the brake doesn't happen, okay, because it's clogged up. You ain't getting enough back pressure here. So it disappears again because you're gripping it too tight. All right, one, you ain't gonna get this because the grip's too open. There's a, the other extreme is if it's too closed. But anywhere in that, anywhere in your hand position to where it'll do this, you're in good shape, okay, because it's breaking. You're back pressuring it enough to break as you introduce air, okay? Good hand position, good air presentation. It's two things, and you learn them at the same time, so it doesn't take you 15 years to learn this. Trust me, it might take you 15 minutes. If you go into this without any preconceived notions, 
If you've been blowing for a long time, forget all that you know and just blow this, blow this simple stuff like this. You, you might be surprised. Okay, that means you got your air and your hand right. Now you start blowing spec shape. Okay, everybody got their own way of doing everything. But I, I, for me personally, I use this. It's like you whistle for your dog. That's that's what I. That's how I shape this. I shape that into whistle for dog. Look, that's about all the instruction that somebody can really offer you because the rest of learning how is you okay it ain't about watching a video or reading it on a book or something it's blowing it running your call is how you learn to to run it you can't run it by just reading about it start off with the grip hand position not, a, not grab, don't grab it, don't touch. These three don't touch. This one does, so you can hold the, hold the thing right. It don't fall out of your hand. All right? About like that. Give you a place to start. And then you start blowing it. Because blowing it is how you're going to learn to do it. Don't overthink it. Grab it like you see it on this video and blow in there. Okay? And teach yourself what air is required and what grip is required. Learn them at the same time. Shorten your learning curve tremendously.